BAFTA for performer goes to City Jones for fireworks. <laughs> Please pinch me. <laughs> um, thank you, BAFTA, for this and for this amazing event that you throw every year for recognizing everything that goes into the video game industry. Thank you. Um, and to the other nominees on this list, you guys raise the bar every time you go behind the mic. And thank you for your inspiration. Um, to my husband and my babies watching from home, you're my everything. Um, I'm not going to cry because I'm an actor and we don't cry. Um, <laughs> um, the fans, you guys. This is nothing without you. Everyone at Campo who worked on this game, um, Jane, Jake, who's getting married this weekend, uh, Chris, Ollie, um, Ben, Nels, James, everyone I'm forgetting, you guys made a beautiful thing and I'm so proud to be a part of it. Um, Sean Fanneman, you have changed my life. Um, anytime you want to put words in my mouth, you know where to find me. <laughs> um, to Rich, Summer, Henry, um, I was only ever as good as my scene partner, and working with you was a master class in acting. Thank you for your talent and your humor, um, and for making it so effortless for, for those couple of years. Um, Dean Panero, my agent, you believed in me before I believed in myself, and I love you forever. Um, uh, uh, voiceover community, thank you for being the best people on the planet. I am so grateful to call so many of you friends. Um, and lastly, I. I love working in video games. And one of the things I love so much is that we have the opportunity to give a voice to people who may not otherwise feel heard. Um, whether it's members of the LGBTQ community or people of different races or different religions or even a, a little boy with cancer, we have the opportunity to make their voice part of the greater narrative and we need it now more than ever. Thank you so much for this. Sissy, congratulations. I'm Thank so, so you. pleased. Thank I mean, so Delilah and Firewatch just go hand in hand. Um, but you never actually see her. She, all our, our sort of interaction with her is over the radio. <laughs> How did that kind of um, affect your interpretation of the character, as it were? It's what I love the most about the game, is that you have to decide how you feel about this woman based on her personality. It yeah. doesn't matter what she looks like or how big her personality <laughs> is. Her, her <laughs> dual personalities right. are. Um, but that you have to decide as a player how you want to interact with her mm -hmm. based on her wits, and I love that more than anything in the game. But that, I mean, that's, that means it's all you. Like, it is all, everything that people love about the writing about and working with Rich and the atmosphere, I mean, how do you not fall in love in that game? I know, absolutely. <laughs> but like, do you, did they ever kind of tell you what she looked like, or was it completely no. like? It was up to our interpretation, wow. so Rich kind of uh, pictured her as, uh, Sigourney Weaver from Tremors with giant red hair and unshorn <laughs> legs and um, you know to me she was always just a variation of me so <laughs> I mean there are so many routes that the player can go down and, and different interpretations that the player can have what was your did you have a specific interpretation in mind she she reminds me of someone who zigged when others may have zagged mm -hmm. you know what I mean so <laughs> you go to college and everyone talks about you know, getting married and the white picket fence and all that. And she chose not to do that. Yeah. She chose a different life. And that's one of the things I loved about her was that she, um, she went the other way. Was there any particular quirks to her character that, that you specifically added or like that you, you uh, felt a certain affinity for? I love scotch. And so Sean wrote <laughs> some of the scotch both. in there for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've earned one tonight as well. Um, yes. <laughs> Particular brand? Or like? um, gosh, I love Oban. Mm -hmm. I really love Oban. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I the thing I love about Delilah as well was, at, like, at first I was like, do we trust her? Do we not trust her? Like, it, it, there's yeah. such a, a nuance there that, yeah. like, did you, I mean, were you kind of deliberately doing that, or were, was there parts where you weren't sure yourself? Or? I'll never tell. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I guess. I guess. What is it that you really love about voice acting for video games in particular? You can be anything, anyone, any mm -hmm. creature, any being. And it doesn't matter what you look like as the actor, it matters what you bring to the role. Mm -hmm. That is what I love all in all with voiceover. Um, you know, I've been a, 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 a cranky 60s, you know, 60 year old 
B-I-T-C-H. I've been, <laughs> you know, a, a plump middle-aged veterinarian. I've been, <laughs> um, I've been a prostitute that you light on fire and throw out a window. So it's like, it just doesn't matter what you look like. It just, it matters how you bring it to life. I think that's why we've got such a wealth of talent uh, as opposed to m even other industries because we have the most inventive uh, m people most willing to, to to put their own sort of spin on things like yeah it's such a rich a rich industry I, feel. I love it I love it so much with every fiber of my being <laughs> and what was it like to work with Campo Santo they they seem like really cool oh, guys they're the great so I worked with Sean and Jake on um, The Walking Dead season mm -hmm. one and Sean called me uh, when I was pregnant with my daughter four years ago and said, uh, you know, I've left Telltale, I'm writing a new game with a female protagonist, are you in? And I was like, <laughs> yes. Um, because I know he's such a beautiful writer and mm -hmm. he is so thoughtful with his characters and I know Jake knows how to put a game together beautifully. Right. And then you start to see the artwork from Ollie and Jane this and is it. the music from Chris mm -hmm. and it's just... It, it, everything of it took my breath away. What was the first part of the game where you saw all those pieces fall together? Oh, I think we did a trailer for E3 or something mm. in 2015, but we recorded dialogue that wasn't in the game because mm -hmm. Sean didn't want to give anything away. But just seeing it with the imagery was astounding. I, the imagery gives me chills. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. It was so amazing. The entire park. Like, were, did you have a particular favorite part of the park? Because I love <laughs> the lake, especially with the teenagers. Like, but still, like, I just. I really actually, cool. um, I loved the lake, but I also, uh, I loved Pork Pond. Yeah. And one of the fans actually made like a legitimate pork pond sign and sent it to me. That's so adorable. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> amazing. Well, thank you so, so thank much. You. And congratulations. Thank you so much. I, th how is this real? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. No, you totally deserve it. It's, it's fantastic. Thank you.